Well, hello, and welcome to the next part of our American Civil War Revived mod campaign for Mountain Blade Warband. No idea what we're going to do. But we're probably going to go and check in with this little squid up here. See if there's anything else we can do quickly. Well, what is it? Any tasks? No, I don't have any jobs for you right now. Oh, Godspeed, Jeremiah. Okay. How nice of you. I guess right now we're just going to really have to <clears throat> build up our forces. What were they? Deserters. Ooh, please. If we can fight some deserters, that would be good. If they would come back. No? Okay. Apparently, it doesn't want us to fight them, even though I do. So you're rubbish and need to die. Let's go to Chicago and see if we can recruit some people. Army of Mississippi and Army of Tennessee have made peace. What? Peace in the Civil War? This is alternate history, isn't it? Four Union volunteers indeed. Volunteer cavalry. Splendid. Um, Terre Haute, I don't know how you pronounce this place, but we'll go there anyway and try and get some more people. Three Union Volunteers, splendid. How about more? Bloomington, sounds spiffy. Volunteers, three Union Volunteers, that's wonderful. Let's see, where else can we go? Should we go to Indianapolis? Do we we don't have prisoners so do we know any inventory? We need food badly. So yes, we will go to Indianapolis and try to fill up on food. It's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> so that we, you know, don't starve to death. Market. General store. Ooh, look at all the bread. Any cabbage? I love cabbage. Should we do that or bread? Oh, bread's expensive. Oh boy, yeah. We'll just get a lot of grain. $49. Cheap and easy. Let's go to the tavern and see what poor wretches we could pick up. Another Pinkerton agent? No, I... I, I was hoping that we could find another one of our hero companions or something. Dress. How pretty we are. Nobody home? Okay. Oh, look out there. You can see outside. That's neat. That's really nice. Let us leave. Absolutely boring here. Who we got? Major General Prentice? That's a terrible font color. Do I know you? I am Jeremiah Silverstone. Well, I'm Major General Prentice. Senior officer of the Army of Mississippi and military governor of Detroit, Baden and New Harmony. Yes. What do you wish to ask? Do you have any tasks? I need to send a letter to Major General Edward O.C. Ord, who should currently be at Frankfort. If you'll be heading towards there, would you deliver it to him in the next 30 days? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. It's 30 bucks extra. Frankfort's not far. Just down here. It's under siege! Oh. So let's try and find Major General Ord. Soldiers are ready to upgrade. Do become cavalry. Thank you very much. Who is here? Hollick. McC McClernand. Hurlbert. Oh, who are you? Dodge. Maybe I can ask you. Can I ask you? Yes, uh... I wish to ask you where... General Ord is. He is at Frankfurt. Oh my god, he's the one under siege. It would be awfully hilarious if the letter is uh, information about troop movements regarding the siege. 
Oh dear. I feel I should save. Try not to. Okay, I can I can go to the headquarters. There you yeah, General Lord. Ah yes. Well, I bring a message from Major General Prentice. Oh, let me see. Oh, it's good of you to bring me this. Take my seal as proof and please tell him. Okay. We're done. Farseeker? Who's Anna? You don't look familiar. Well, I, I am Jeremiah Silverstone at your service. I don't believe I heard of you. Is there any way I can help you? I have the honor to know you. I'm wife to Major General William Tecumseh Sherman. Oh, boy. Mother to Major General Don Carlos Buell. The wife of General Sherman, wearing some funny little thing on her head. Hmm. Very odd world we're in, is it not? Well. Do let us get away as far as bloody possible. You, sir. Do you have any missions for me, sir? Any tasks? No, he doesn't need my help at the moment. Well, that's a shame. Because I could use yours. Try you. Major General Stephen Hurlbert. Yes, yes, yes. Any tasks? Need to deliver a letter to Major General Kemper of the Army of Pensacola. Uh, Baton Rouge. Ooh. Baton Rouge. Yeah, let's give it a go. Holy. Pensacola. It's down there. Oh my god, we gotta go right through Confederate territory here. Now this, this is gonna be an adventure. Let's see if Burksville can give us some extra men. No? There's deserters over here, though. I don't believe I can catch them. Oh, I might be able to. We're faster than them. Yes, I, I do think we're going to catch up to them. This would be good. Here we go. Oh, we are free men. We fight only for ourselves now. When I'm done with you, you'll regret leaving your army. There's only six of the poor buggers, but, you know. By my command, uh, follow me. Do try and spread out. I don't know if it'll be any use to you guys, but attempt something. Okay, we've got infantry. Let's hold our infantry up here. The cavalry will continue following me. Very good. Oh, wow. We have a lot of horsemen. Well, we are going to be a cavalry regiment, so I do hope so. Oh dear, I have forgotten. Uh, archers are what these people classify as. I've been playing the uh, the Floris mod for native, so I usually have an infantry army. So I, I naturally selected only infantry there. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? Um, do fire, please. And our cavalry, fire at will. It'd be wonderful if you could charge. Let's get the suave. He's dead. Very good. There's another zouave. Louisiana zouaves, I presume. Yeah. That's another volunteer, uh... Bit the biscuit. Indeed. This is a very dark battle. Well, that's that. <laughs> that was good. I think we lost a man, though. Oh, it was just one of our companions. We can save some farmers, but I don't feel in the mood for doing that. Let's steal all these Confederate uniforms and their weapons, and we'll sell them. A fez! Oh, how cute. Got $73 for dealing with them. Well, we can upgrade... <laughs> we can upgrade 10. Oh, boy. We're probably going to want to have some sort of skirmishing screen to distract from our cavalry. So we're going to go ahead and probably get about 8. 
eight infantry, I should think. Yeah. And we'll make these Union Mounted Infantry. That should do well. Let's continue down to Baton Rouge. Of course, by the time I get there, the sky is going to be uh, absolutely gone. Nowhere in the vicinity. Who am I looking for again? General Kemper. Was General Kemper a Confederate officer? I seem to remember a Confederate officer with the name Kemper. Is that more deserters? Yeah, right now, not exactly our thing. Army of Potomac in Northern Virginia made peace. That's weird. So there's peace now in America. So we're gonna have to try and lurk around in the forest, attempting to find this guy. Because, who was here? Who was that? Oh, village farmers, don't care about them. Oh, that's an army. Patrick Claiborne. I thought this guy was supposed to be down here. Come on. Of the army of Pensacola. What? Yeah, he is a Confederate officer. What? Why are we delivering a message to a Confederate officer? Military Governor Mobile. Okay. Um, we'll see if he's down here. I mean... Kemper, yeah. Approach the picket and hail the guard. Request meeting with Kemper. Do I know you? I am Jeremiah Silverstone. Well, I'm Major General James Kemper, Senior Officer of the Army of Pensacola, Military Governor of Mobile. Yes. I bring a message from Major General Herbert. Wonderful. No idea why we had to do a mission for a Confederate officer there, considering it was given by a Union officer. That's very weird. We got some training up done. Up done. Good English there, isn't that? Hey, look, Pedica. Who even is the head general? The commander in chief of this army here. Who is this? Who leads these people? Maybe I can speak to him. Uh, go to the head. The ball. There's a feast in progress. Oh boy. Why have I gone to the tavern? This isn't going to help me whatsoever. A bookseller? No, not at all. Well, I'm afraid that's a, that's a ball going on, so that's not going to help. Oh, let's do this. Plains Indian tribes. So we can... We can fight the natives. Do let us try. Any native forces around? 339 in that garrison. They are prepared, are they not? This does make quite a lot of sense since we are a Union Cavalry Regiment that... Well, oh boy, let's uh, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. I think around 350 men in those armies there. The two combined, anyway. I do not wish to try that. That's a disaster waiting to happen. I would love to have more looters or deserters come by. Why are we going through the river again? That pathfinding is nonsense. Who just ran away? 
I don't know who you are, but I want to kill you. Are you somebody we can kill? Who are you? See, 106 in that tribe. I don't want big armies. At this moment, I need things to kill. I really do. So that we can make some money. I mean, we could always do some trading, but... I don't feel that would particularly go too well. Trading is much more refined in Bannerlord. Why is the morale low? Are we out of food again? Now we got grain. And that was a cavalry guy too. Well, let's go to Karo. Go to the market, general store. Fruit, bread, oh, that's a lot of money. Oh, God. Well, we gotta do the sacrifice, don't we? Must keep our people fed. What else could we do here? There's not much. We don't have much on our plate. There's very few and far between that we can do something, isn't it? Let's go to Evansville, see if there's a commander here who can give us a mission. Yeah, Major General Buell. You have a mission for me, sir? No? You're useless, twit. <laughs> That's what we think about people who don't give us missions. Let's go to Indianapolis. A saucy little town, yes. Oh! We're losing quite a bit of cash. And apparently, Mr. Harrison here can be upgraded indeed. Your skills, sir. Agility, please get that up. What do we want? Ooh, uh... Pathfinding. Yes, it would be a good idea to increase our movement speed on the map. Definitely something we need. Garrison headquarters. We can go here now. Oh, there's a, it's just a woman. Bella. Uh, wife of Major General McPherson. Well, no generals here. Try Fort Wayne. At this point, it's just us trying to find missions, and oh, there's two generals there. Try you, Major General Hollick. Uh, tasks? No. You people. You have very boring lives. You have no tasks for me to do. No, you don't have any tasks either. So as we were going to try, there is nobody in this fort. Let's go to Fremont then. See if there's a general here. I'm sorry, this is going to be the most boring part in the world. Meeting? Nobody? We're off to a zooming play, aren't we? Pittsburgh. Ever anything exciting in Pittsburgh? I never hear of anything exciting going on in Pittsburgh. No, no generals either. Who? You. Come to me. Oh, it's General Prentice. Any tasks? Ah, oh, yes. Deliver a letter to Brigadier General Nathan George Evans of the Army of Pensacola near Fort Stansbury. I go to Fort Stansbury. I know Stansbury. It's a beautiful thing. Where are we? Fort Stansbury. You see, the army of Pensacola. It's down here. Tampa. Fort Stansbury. Or the best shooting field. I dare say it must be. I think we'll give it a go. The best shooting field. Sounds quite thrilling. 
Oh, deserters. We could catch this group of 12. No. They left our sight. That makes me angry. Fort Stansbury. Major General French, I think that was. Request a meeting. There he is, Evans. Yes. I bring a message. Now they're all the way down in Confederate territory. Let's go to Frankfurt. Is it under siege again? The Army of Mississippi. It's at war with the Army of Northern Virginia. Are you the Army of Northern Virginia? You are. So are you. So we cross here, we, we can go into hostile territory. Very good. Thank you. I would love to find some enemies. 89. No, that's a bit large for us still. Do not enter the training ground. Well, aren't we pushy? I was going to try out that best shooting field. Wonder if it actually does anything. We should probably go outside and save before entering. Mm, looters. Let's go for the looters. Thank you. Surrender or die, you squids. Do follow me. And it would be great if you all would... I got stuck on nothing. Look at this. Trapped on it. Nothing. The objects in this mod are also a tad buggered. Let's bring our infantry over here. Ah, yes. Ah. No. Our cavalry needs to charge. I'll take down you. Goodbye. Eh. Come back. You didn't die. You need to die. Thank you. Very good of you. Well, at least our cavalry have been able to get them. Who has just shot? Oh, I think our cavalry are shooting on the... On horseback. You just run into something? What is going on? Ah. You are what is going on. In fact, going away. Is someone else over here we're supposed to be going after? No, I presume they're over here. This pathfinding is terrible. Where is this guy? Do you see this guy? I don't see this guy. Oh no, but we got him. Not us, anyway. One of our men. At least we didn't lose anybody. But we have gathered a whole bunch of rubbish, which we can indeed be selling. Let's sell it. Oh dear. Tallahassee. We're not at war with them. Oh. Marketplace. Quartermaster. Take all of this rubbish. And it'd be nice if we got better price. Considering their guns. We just done that. Taylor. We get more for the uniforms. And we didn't make a whole lot, did we? No. Who are you? Holy. 105 men. Let's see if we can find more little groups of people. 105 men. 
These are much too large for my taste. 111. Boy. 115. Village farmers. Let's try the wooded area over here. Maybe we will find... Apparently we'll find nobody. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the part here. Let my thing go there. And then uh, we'll go to our next part, which I have a feeling I'm going to make our last part of this Let's Try of the mod. Since there is not a whole lot of much going on. And we haven't been able to get a very big cavalry regiment. We've done it. Our task for this campaign was to recruit a cavalry regiment for the Union. And fight Confederates, which we have been doing. It's just they've ever either been deserters or looters, peasants. Or we, we broke that general out of prison at Nashville. So that's definitely something that was an accomplishment in this uh, Let's Try. So we'll just do our next part, and we'll call it a, call it an end to the Civil War.